I thought I'd try making some videos on the pedals of the piano, as some students don't seem to understand how they work very well. So let's go underneath the piano, and today we will look at the right hand pedal called the damper pedal. Every piano, the right hand pedal is a damper pedal, every piano I've ever seen. Let me know if you've seen something different. This pedal goes into our, my piano has a nice box here, kind of fancy, freshly dusted, hope you appreciate it. And it is a lever that raises this post back here that goes all the way back up into the piano here. And then it contacts the um, damper mechanism up there. But first we have some things to talk about down here. There's a little play here. Oh, uh, the reason I want to talk about it is um, it's different from a keyboard pedal, which is just on off. That's all it does. This damper pedal is a big part of the piano, and you can't really play effectively the piano without a damper pedal. We're going to see all the things that it can do. This little motion here is just play in the lever mechanism. It's not doing anything. But here I can feel I'm engaging the dampers, and now I'm starting to lift the dampers off the strings, and we will go up and watch this, and right about here, I think, the dampers are all clear of the strings, so this does nothing really. It's just extra play, the dampers above the strings. It gives you some room to, for adjustment. So, and I can hear my voice, ha, ah, ah, ha, echo. I don't know if you can hear that. You don't want to press down and lift up. That makes an ugly sound, you can probably hear that. And. You don't want to lift up quickly or push down. Like I said, a keyboard is on and off. This has a whole range of expression to um, of usage and expression. Let's go up top and see what they are. So here we are up top of my lovely Chronic and Bach piano. And we can See the dampers up here? As I push the pedal down, they come up. As I lift up the pedal, they go down. Down, up. Up, down. Up equals down, down equals up. The upper strings never have dampers. No piano has them. They just ring. They don't ring very long. And it's a pleasant sound. It has a little reverb. Where the dampers actually start up, stop on a piano is different for each piano. So let's see. If I play a note, that sounds nice, but if I start playing on the chords, they get, they get muddy, and that could be a nice effect. But we want to learn how to use the dampers effectively. Watch as I play the chord. I can lift off slowly. That's something you can't do on a keyboard. Keyboard's on and off. Here I can lift my foot up slowly, 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 and it slowly fades out. That's very, very useful. I'm only playing a few notes. When you've got a whole Beethoven sonata or Liszt Rhapsody going, you've got the pedals adjusting all the tonality, the balance, the foot's helping just as much as the fingers are. effect I wanted to talk about is the sound, because when I play one note even, all these strings are vibrating and adding a reverberation, through sympathetic vibration. Up here, I for this very well, here, this is the bridge. The strings go over the bridge, and there's bridges all the way back under there, and the wood underneath there is the vibrating mechanism. In a keyboard you've got, I don't know, 12 or 15 inch paper cone. Here we've got how many square feet of a very finely honed, very finely sanded and shaped piece of wood. The whole thing is vibrating. That's very different from very plain and 
and very rich. And you use them at different times. And I have a little demonstration after this video that I want, want you to see. Here's a chord. If I go to the next chord, there's a space in between. But if I use the dampers effectively, them while my hands are in the air and I'm going to the next chord you can use that damper the damper pedal to help change from chord to chord without bling, being blur, blurry if I blur them and just leave it on of the music you're trying to play. How about this? There's no pedal written for Furry Lees. Too much pedal would be... Well, you've got to change between A minor and E minor, and this isn't working too well. So we do something in between. Catch the pedal. That's all E minor. Now change the pedal on this note after I play the note. Down, up. Down, up. And the pedal is... I started by saying down, up. You're pushing your foot down to lift the dampers up. So let's try this again. The foot goes down, the foot goes up, down, the timing's very important, up, down, sorry, wrong note. The foot's up, let it be plain, and then we put the damper foot down, up, down, to catch all those notes. If my timing's wrong, we get this. missing the bottom note. You want to catch it. If I do it too hard, listen. You get this. You don't want that. Beethoven didn't write that. He wrote the notes. So be careful. The quickest way to learn is to pay attention to what you're doing and how it sounds good or not so good and change what you're doing. Happy playing!